Hey, how's it going? So I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks since I can't show you real power plant diagrams for reasons that should be obvious if you're a real power plant owner, you don't want your diagrams out in the world. I thought I would use this example, which is something that most of the people who would watch this video will be familiar with. By the way, if you're watching this video because you actually need this diagram, feel free to use it. I would appreciate it if you subscribe or click like or at a bare minimum, please just put a comment that you're using it. That way I know because I'm needy and I kind of like the attention. So anyway, um, if you were going to explain the warp core to a brand new engineer, an engine that just started out, it would probably go something like, the warp coils travel power down to the dilithium matrix. It's all held in place by the cone headers. Once the matter-antimatter reaction occurs, using dilithium, it's sent up the pylons into the nacelles that then use the busted ram scoops to make warp travel possible. Further details on the nacelle and the pylon can be found in their respective modules. Please see them for more details. And that's pretty much it. Now obviously, I'll be talking a lot more detail when I really do it. What valves are involved? What kind of gas? What kind of water? Because there's lots of different kinds of waters for this. Hot and cold, steam, that kind of thing. Um, and we just sit there for hours on end, either drawing these diagrams or uh, animating them like you see here. So for people who are curious, this is what I do. Later.